I feel like I've been in these same clothes and sitting in this excavator for a month. And I have. I just, these are just nice and warm. It's really cold. I mean, never mind. I'll get to all that. What I want to talk about is reconnecting with old friends, acquaintances you haven't seen forever. And you, you, want, you don't have to have dinner with them. You don't have to talk to them by the phone. You don't have to exchange email. But it's nice to know how they're progressing in their life, how their careers have taken on. And it's other people telling you that. They're sharing information with you. And you're catching up with them. And none other than Mark Anthony Nemchek. Oh, that guy. Oh, that guy. Yeah, it caught up to him. Again, I went after Mark in uh, 2011 when Mark was claiming to be a uh, Navy SEAL, Naval Academy graduate, Vietnam vet, black ops guy. And he was also claiming to be in, uh, in Tower 2 of the World Trade Center. And he, he survived. He's a World Trade Center survivor, and that bug-witted moron took uh, a truck and painted it red, the 9-11 truck. I mean, it was famous. It went everywhere. He took that thing across the country and back again with all the names of all the dead uh, firefighters and police officers, all the first responders. It was a terrible, despicable act, but uh, worse than that, he put that despicable, disgusting Pastor Terry Jones in the back of that truck and let him preach all that Islamic uh, hatred stuff out of there. Well, I just didn't like it being done under the SEAL trident, and that's exactly what it was, the SEAL trident. Now, one of my favorite comments of that was uh, a woman commenting that uh, uh, Mark can say anything he wants because he was a Navy SEAL and he dates Islamic fuckers. I just didn't like the trident and being up there. I didn't like that pasture in the back of it, and I didn't like any of it. And uh, so, Mark, because of much of what I did to him, uh, got nailed. I went after him in a big way, jungle cat style. And uh, it all caught up to Mark. They uh, they seized his truck. They they took his truck. Uh, they made pay restitution for selling all the T-shirts and all the other 9/11 gee dunk shit he was doing to a tune of $121,000. He had to pay a monthly and is still doing it, supposed to, monthly restitution to a 9/11 uh, firefighter that he impersonated and stole and whatever uh, that and to uh, and to get away from all that, Mark moved to Las Vegas, and I, I kept after him even while he was out there. This was a long time ago, but he resurfaced. And uh, one of the guys tracked him down and has just given all this information up about Mark uh, working Fremont Street and doing his, uh, doing his level best out there just to make more friends. And uh, he said, well, any, any, any of you that are in Las Vegas need to go visit Mark. Here's all the details of that uh, moron. Excuse me. Name is Mark and Nemchek, right? Huh? Name is Mark and Nemchek. Who Mark wants to know? Me. What? No reason. You from Tinton Falls, New Jersey? Ever been convicted of a crime? Huh? Ever been convicted of a crime? No. No? No. Your name's not Mark Nemchek, is it? Huh? Is your name Mark Nemchek? What are you doing? I'm fooling you. Because you're a fucking criminal. Your mother's a criminal. Stolen valor also. No, no. Oh, yes. You gonna know Don Shipley? You know Don Shipley? He knows you. He knows you, and he knows you have stolen go valor. Court. Go to court. Oh, I will. I was just in court. I will. Day. And this time and you're gonna. Go, and this time you're gonna go to prison. You know why? Yeah. Because the last That's time the judge didn't, didn't put you in prison time. because of your Parkinson's Get and your diabetes, out. right? Get but this time you're going down. For what? For fraud and theft. Your the same mother. thing you were already convicted of in 2013, no, motherfucker. Weren't you? Really? The guy that got me, the guy that got me in trouble, he got 17 years in prison. So you go fuck yourself. I didn't get nothing. You're Mark and Imshek. No, I'm Admit not. it. No. Yes. No. Yes. And you're Why going you? to prison this time. 
because know, I have all the evidence. Oh, look, there's your money in your little uh, bucket there. Oh, yeah, you come on. The, why'd come you on. get the fuck out of here? Come and get me. Come and get me. Yeah, I will. Come and get me, motherfucker. You fucking cocksucker. Get the fuck away. Let me get some me. more evidence of your the mother money sucks in there. Dick. You're going to prison this time. You, you know that, right? Do it. Do it. Get the fuck out of here. Another connection that uh, came up yesterday. What a successful, but a hard, hard month of uh, work on this machine. I am so good with this machine. I can deal cards with it right now. And I'll get it again. And uh, it's just a little touch-up work here. But uh, thanks. Thanks, guys. If you uh, go, go after that. Fucking them check in uh, Las Vegas if you can find the time down there. I'll see ya. Excuse me. My name is Mark and them check, right? Huh? Name is Mark Nemchik. Who Mark? wants to know? Me. What? No reason. You from Tintin Falls, New Jersey? What? Ever been convicted of a crime? Huh? Ever been convicted of a crime? No. No? No. Your name is not Mark Nemchik, is it? Huh? Is your name Mark Nemchik? What are you doing? I'm filming you. Because huh? you're a fucking criminal. Your mother's a criminal. Stolen Valor also. Oh, no. Oh, yes. You gonna know Don Shipley? You know Don Shipley? He yeah, knows know you. Don, he knows Don. you, and he knows you have Stolen Valor. Floor. Coming back from my mother's, she somehow allowed me to drive the whole hour and a half up here, and she only brake checked and snapped like 12 times since I I don't think I did it 12 times. I think I did it twice. I think I did pretty good. <coughs> but I'm driving back. We got behind a bus. <laughs> and. Go oh, get this bitch out of here. I'm at a curb, and there's a car coming. There's more than one car coming. Oh, his whole life came to a complete halt because he had to be behind that bus. It was awful. See all these people in this line? It's because of one son of a bitch up front that just wants to be a citizen. You're going to be a citizen. Maybe a cop will pull me over for one of those meritorious tickets that nobody ever gets. Points on their license for good driving. you got to get away from this son of a bitch. <clears throat> There's cars coming, Don. And it's a no passing lane. That's what those two lines mean. No passing. Well, you know what? That's that's for silly little citizens. This son of a bitch, we cannot go like this Don, on the way home. You just sit over there and enjoy the ride and I'll get around him when there's not fifty million cars coming. I, I don't want to be hit on. Head on. It's just out for a Look Sunday. at that old silo. I love silos. Look at something else. Quit looking at the back of his car. Oh my God. I can't pass. Look at all these cars. Well, I just want you to be ready. I'm ready. But this piece of bird shit on my window is driving me nuts. Oh my god, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get I it. I can't oh, do it. I can't do it. Pussy. There's a car god coming. damn. I can't do it. We're never gonna it. get that opportunity. Oh, baby. That was that fucking Did you delay. see how upset you get? Look at this beautiful scenery that we're driving I'm through. Look at that beautiful speedometer. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Life is too short to sit behind a citizen. I mean, he deliberately knows he's doing it. We had the same thing coming up here. The guy in a bus. 
You know, Don thinks he was deliberately trying to fuck he him was. over. He was. I can tell you right now by looking at that orange hat in that back window, he's an old man. You know he ain't what? bothering anybody. You need to get him off of the road. Old and people, that's, that's going to be old you. Old people don't need to be driving. You just put them in a shelter somewhere. All right, and you get ready here now. I will. I will lock you, you double up. Double right on this thing. You get going, girl. You get some, baby girl. You, you are son smooth. of a bitch. You're, You're going to get us killed. Shut up. <laughs> Sit over there and look out the damn window. Right down the double line. I could have killed us. Broke laws right there. And, they, you know, that's an asshole. We're good. Now we can at least go six. Until we get behind the next guy that's doing the that's speed right. limit. But, you know, I just that was putting a lot of pressure on you. That was a close one, too. I know. There was one more car that we didn't see. Just took your foot off the gas to talk. See how you do? You're talking to me, but you take your foot off of the gas when you do it. Just need to keep going. I'm going to stop up here at this plant store. The fuck the hell you are. The You're not hell going I'm anything. Not. You're going straight on home. No, I'm not. No, and after that, get us to at least that two lane road. All right, this video, the uh, guy that shot this of Nemchek when he got him in a Walgreens pharmacy recognized him in there. Mark Anthony Nemchek. Mark was kicked out of the Navy after six weeks for claiming he couldn't, he was allergic to wool. He couldn't wear his uniform because it was made out of wool. Yeah, okay. You, you started crying for mommy in boot camp after six weeks. He was kicked out as an E1. But that didn't stop Mark from claiming to be SEAL Team 6, CIA, Vietnam, the whole bit. And uh, just a scammer and a con man his entire life. Just terrible, terrible guy. And then 9-11 happened and Mark pulled his spectacular stunt of all, the 9-11 truck. And all the names of the firefighters and first responders, Mark is a cad son of a bitch well the guy sent the video in two parts he sent the first one which I put up here then he sends the second part which I didn't know was there and he gets Mark outside on the street corner while Mark is selling these American flags wearing a 9-11 first responder bulletproof vest in that wheelchair and uh so this is, this is kind of a test to see where you fall on the stolen valor thing. Is this guy going too far with Mark or just enough? Me, knowing Mark, I, uh, there were some cringeworthy moments in this thing. But Mark brought all that on himself. And Mark is just out there doing it still. He's still just scamming people. Now he's doing it in... So I think uh, I think I wouldn't uh, wish Parkinson's on anybody, but if I was, Mark would be right at the top of the list. And I just can't stand the guy or anything he's done, and it just kind of comes full circle. I do think this guy. I don't know. When you see why Mark is chasing him in the wheelchair, <laughs> is he the one that squirted? Well, I wasn't going to say that, but. Okay, he's chasing him in the wheelchair because he's trying to pepper spray him. And when he gets close enough, you know, he, he shoots and stuff. So just watch. But Mark is not that. He is trying to catch him in the wheelchair. And he's trying to lead him uh, away, uh, get him away from uh, the main street so that uh, Mark is just trying. I don't know where I'm going with all that. You know. Yeah. He's trying to get him away so nobody will find out he's a phony. Well, that's that's true. But the uh, Mark is chasing him in the wheelchair and he's antagonizing. Well, I'm just going to do the whole thing again. Oh God! This time, try not to drop the uh, the punchline. Squirt the word squirt. 
Well, people knew what you were doing. Oh, they did? They, they wouldn't have expected that. Hey, it caught me okay. by surprise. <laughs> Why did you lie about being a U.S. Navy SEAL? Why did you lie about that? Get the fuck away from me! Why did you lie about being a U.S. Navy SEAL? You want to get it? Yeah, do it. Get the fuck out of here! Why did you lie about being the U.S. Navy SEAL? Stolen valor! Stolen valor! 